Hi, this is Ed from Magic of Wheels. I've been receiving questions and comments regarding the tool that I use. So today we're going to do something different. I'm going to take you to my workbench and see all my watchmaking tools. Also at the end of this video, I would like to ask for your help. I am so being indecisive between the two watches for my next project. So please vote. Which one you like to see me servicing? I'm not a professional. I'm a hobbyist. So I'm gonna do the workbench tour today and this is my corner for my favorite hobby. Let's take a closer look. So this is my workbench. Also I have this wooden top so I don't have to bend down. And this is the mat from Horotech. So let's move to the shelf. And this is a shelf that I keep all my watch making tools okay let's go one by one so we have two different kind of press one screw down and the other one is just the lever here like this both of them are Chinese made but they do a good job and this is a dust tray with the glass cover this is the balance complete holder and the balance wheel support i use this for cleaning the balance wheel and next okay let's let move this one out okay let's see these tools this is my tweezer rack these three are from version and these three are from venus this is the anti-magnetic and this one is very fine tip so I always use this to hold the screws because the screw is very very small tiny I like to use the brass one because it won't scratch the movement and this brass tweezer is from version It's got a very sharp tip. And this is the gold plated one. The tip is so fine. So I use the gold plated one with all the wheels and for the normal brass one I use for all the heavy parts like the bridge and the plate these three from Venus is also from Switzerland so I use these three for other purpose I use this three when I clean the movement because they have to contact with the solutions and chemicals. Also I use these when I want to push or pull the parts because I don't want to damage you know the fine tip of these more expensive ones. Next is the plastic stick. Um, it's also from version. This is helps a lot uh, if I want to hold some parts in plates or I want to press something I can use this it's plastic so it won't scratch the movement too and I have got another one and I think this is from Horotech screwdrivers these are from a &F, Swiss made they are very very good but I bought the stand separately this is Chinese made but it's very nice and you can see the fine quality of this next are the cutters so I use these to cut off the dye of feet and this I use to cut the winding stem I rarely use this one next is the air blower this is the loop 
also from version very handy and I also got um, some extra one they are from version Number two and the other one. This is 12x. Next, this is the brush I use to clean the bench, and the other brush is harder. And this is, you know, to clean the back of the case before I open the back case. And this is a soft brush. Next is this box. This is a silicone grease. This is the extra oil cup. Okay. Rodicals, I've got two. This is the premium and just a normal one. So I use the premium one to um, get rid of the excessive oil. I think it absorbs better. And this is the oil cup and the oil is different size. And this is the back case opener. Next is this box here. I keep all the oil and the grease in here. Wash maker paper. Yes. Mobius 9010. Mobius 9415. This is D5. 9504. This is Mobius 8212. Breaking grease. 8200. That's I hardly use this. This is the micro rubricant. This is the lock tie for the widening stem and crown. This two sticky tip um, for cleaning the hands and dials. It used with this one here. Stick cleaner from version. And this is the poly watch. Um, this is for polishing the acrylic crystal okay that's all for this um this is the finger cut already been used i keep them separately this is rodical the gray one and the green one here i have what do i have in here ah this is all the hand press tool and this is the pin vise for the winding stem and this is the hand tools as well this is to remove the hands from the dial and the dial protector hand press tool from horotech and these are the hand remover tools from version the pin vise from version and also the dial protector here is Another pin vise, I hardly use this one because it's too big. Oh, and this is a brush from Virgin. It's a fiber brush. I use this to scrape off the rust. It's quite stiff here. From Virgin. This is a spring bar too, also from Virgin. It's got um, two kind of tips here and like little forks there. And this is the file to take away the sharp part after cutting the dial feet and the winding stem. Next are these. So let's see what I have in this box. So this box, I have the case cushion. I've got two of them. This one is the leather, but this one is a silicone gel. And this is the movement holder. This one for ETA 2836 and 2824. This is for Seiko and it's for everything else. I like this one because this can hold many different sizes. And this is like plastic, so it won't scratch movement. Also from version. I like things from version. These are all the the case holder, I've got two sizes, 
the smaller one and the big one I like to use this one and um, I like to use this with this silicone mat so it's like anti-slip so if you want to put this it's very hard to slip this is the back case opener after I unscrew with this key from this is from Horotech so I will use this one to open the back once you break the seal with the key and next I will use this one this is from version this is the crystal lift this is to remove and refit the acrylic crystal so you know to hold the acrylic tighten it and pop it out like that and it comes with this base so if you have a new acrylic here you want to lift it up from here and refit into the case and this box is the the silicone mat so I like to lice all the tools in between this groove okay it's made from silicone so it won't slip this is from yeah from Horotech box here is all the bits and bobs so this is the cushion when you want to remove the link from the bracelets and all the brushes when I clean the movement and these are the spare screwdrivers blade and I have this tiny basket when I clean the movement and a spare oil cup oh and this is the I don't use this anymore it's a Chinese made it's not really good yeah I don't use this anymore because this thing is very wobbly so it's got a good chance that you will scratch the movement and the next one is here so this is all my finger cuts these are all the parts these are all the spare parts gasket spring bar what else buckles spare buckles oh and the casing clamps yeah. and I have also some of the acrylic crystal oh uh, these are the dies for the crystal press this crystal press this is the film you know to protect the watch from scratches this is a Chinese made back case opener this is the adapter I think this is particularly for Rolex style you know back case these are all the dice as well I think this is a good quality one it's a Chinese made but good quality these are all the parts for next next project I have the spare movement this is from Seiko NH38 and NH36 there and I also have ETA2824 I've got lots of hands there next box this is a cement glue this is the rut remover this is a dia dots and a cape cut this is the the gaskets so what I have here is a time grapher demagnetizer and this is the backlight caliper this is a crystal tester to test if if the crystal is a sapphire or something else ultrasonic cleaner and I've got all the tiny little jars here to put all the solutions this is the outer sonic cleaning solution the Elma 99.99% alcohol and this is the distilled water 
that's all my tools that I use. Okay, lastly, I have these two watches that um, I would like to service, but I cannot decide which one I I will go first. So let's have a vote. That is not good. I won't let this happen to you. Okay, so um, let's vote. Leave your comment below which one you want me to service. The Bambino or the Power Reserve. That's it for today. Please like, share, subscribe and turn on the bell icon. See you next video when passion and hobby collide. I'm Ned from Magical Fields.